not going to work. <laughs> and so, but what's happening, I know you'll see in my next few drives, I, I've crossed over. Um, so now I do a lot of 3D, just, I taught myself last summer uh, online tutorials, et cetera. And um, it's only in the last year, though, that the tools have become so user friendly that you can work incredibly fast and get very high results. And you can actually start to use it as an interactive and um, innovative design tool, which I'm excited to you know, be learning from this tool. That's the big uh, shot to me, right? What's better? I don't know what the story is, right? These are two jets that are chasing a boat where they're both right, leading the jet. Are they on the same team or is the two jets that guy? No idea. Um, but it makes for a fun conversation. Uh, a couple of blimps. I love blimps. Um, I'm going to have to create an IP all based around these like floating fish blimps. Uh, <laughs> there's, uh, there's a couple of left handed sketches up there in the upper right. I started sketching with my left hand because my wrist hurt. And so um, <laughs> I did like 700 sketches in 10 days and my left wrist hurt. <laughs> so, it's kind of easy. It's better than this one back, right? So, it did buy me some time. Like carpal tunnel and manganitis and all that good stuff. Um, so anyway, but it did generate some new forms that I had, would have never drawn with my right hand, and that was the interesting part about the process. <laughs> and so the little sketches from the upper right are exactly that, left-handed sketches that led me to a different aesthetic that I don't think I would have ever drawn with my dominant hand. So uh, there's all sorts of fun stuff I can do. This is kind of the last thing I did for liftoff. I did 108 of these uh, illustrations on the back of my business card. Um, wow. So these are, well, in the book, they're almost one-to-one. -one. I think they're 93% the size of the actual business card. And they are uh, marker, pen, wash, and a little bit of pencil. Maybe just a little bit of like pencil. Um, and the challenge with these was to do uh, in sort of huge range of styles. They're all essentially have the same thing. They're all photographs, right? Air in the front, air out the back. Right? This is St. George Lucas because now uh, anti-gravity devices are just like buying posters in the future. Right? They're just everywhere. You just, you know, sometimes you just need to lift out on the street and right? pick them up. So everybody believes we can do floating cars. It's not, you know, we've all, the entire human race has moved beyond that. So it's fine and it's fun to do a little flying hovercraft. So you just air in the front, air out the back, and they will not fit. And you just move all those same elements around. Right? Some control surfaces that slow you down. You know, should have had an anchor somewhere. Have you ever think about trying to park one of these on a hill? <laughs> you should maybe jump out and fly to keep them going. <laughs> so somehow, my mind never ends. Right? They're always in motion. Always keep going. So that was a little styling challenge for myself uh, to try and do a different one every single time. Try to do a nice sketch every single time and a nice design simultaneously, which I think is a bit of a romantic idea and, and not maybe the smartest way to do that styling. But you, it's fun to draw. So some work, some don't. That's okay. Okay, so now, third book. Um, I had helpers on this one, five of my students on the other night, but I ended up doing most of the writing. Um, I invented the IP, so I created the story for this. So this was our first big IP, which is actually where I'm heading sort of next. Uh, for my next career, we'll, we'll be heading more towards uh, sort of uh, creating what's called so the goal is to create a four quadrant tent pole global franchise. So to define that, four quadrant in the business sense for the entertainment industry means that you create a franchise or intellectual property that you would sell into four different business models. You would sell into television and film, you know, the Saturday morning cartoon or live action or uh, feature animation, whatever, but it's still called music, whatever. Video games, publishing, so comics, young reader novels, uh, art books, that sort of thing, and merchandise. And so the big one in merchandise, of course, depends on the IP, but... Uh